morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, October the 12th, 2018, and this is episode 2,876. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to this Friday morning, end of the week edition of Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Yours. Stay tuned. I will never forget the first time I was able to watch the animated cartoon movie called Finding Nemo. And there's a lot of interesting things in that movie, like I love the turtles swimming, (laughs) saying cowabunga dude. But one of the funny parts of the movie, even the funniest part perhaps for me, was listening to those seagulls cry out in chorus. Mine, 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 mine. My challenge to you, instead of crying out, mine, 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 to cry out, yours, yours, yours. I get that from the book of First Chronicles, chapter 29. And beginning in verse 10, King David just breaks out into praise to God. Listen to what verse 10 says. Therefore, David blessed the Lord before all the assembly. And David said, Blessed are you, Lord God of Israel, our Father forever and ever. Now, pay attention to verse 11. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, and the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord. And you are exalted as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you. And you reign over all. And your hand is power and might. In your hand it is to make great and give strength to all. Now therefore our God we thank you and praise your glorious name. Yours, yours, O Lord, is the greatness. For all that is in the heaven and the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O God. Based on the message of those verses, what should we view as our real home, our true treasure? Do I live my everyday life as if I believe that all things come from God? Do I put my trust and confidence in God or in the ephemeral things, the temporary things of life? So often we get mired in the material possessions of our lives. We, we desire a larger salary, a bigger house, a fancier car. We strive for bigger, better, and more. And we forget, of course, that all Things, our house, our car, the money, and our 401k are all made possible only by God. When we make an offering to our church or when we serve the poor, we pat ourselves on the back for doing good, forgetting, of course, (laughs) that everything we give and everything we gave, everything we consider ours comes from him. So, Father, today I pray that you'd help me to be wholeheartedly devoted and loyal to you alone. Help us, Lord, to remember that as we begin this day, that everything is yours. (laughs) The cup of coffee that we drink, the car that we drive, the job that we have, the conversations that we get to participate in today, it's all yours, Lord. To you be the honor and the glory forever and ever and ever. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. May I encourage you today to be in prayer for those who have been so tragically affected by Hurricane Michael. The images on the news are just heartbreaking. Think about those people. Think about those who are going there now to serve. The Red Cross, Convey of Hope, Samaritan Purse, Southern Baptist Disaster Relief, Law Enforcement, Fire, Medical Workers, Doctors, Nurses, Electrical Power Line Workers. Yeah, let's pray for them. God's grace and peace would be with him today. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.